Okay, so we're going to start a second one, so this one doesn't we just stop with Josh and my brothers and all that. But yeah, what happened with my brothers is uh, the whore that was dating him is actually a real Epstein whore, not a bullshit, no, it really is. And um, she's a black male, I mean, since she was a kid, she's here around trying to sleep with older men, telling them that she was 18, and then they blackmailed me. Who? Her name's Victoria Dow. I don't know where she lives. She's um, mentioned on my discovery on the uh, and uh, she's the one who had my brother take her out. My brother will tell you that she's a prostitute. Um, when, when is this court thing supposed to happen? It's official court. The 9th and then November. Or so. well, I'm this what about this second. month? I'm filing stuff as soon as I get all this stuff on record and I find out what you're willing to testify so we don't get this is it. Then that's it. With the Nori and your stuff, you already told me about the deaths, uh, deaths and him trying to kill people or get people together to kill me. That's premeditated murder. Um, and if you have her... Oh, they're, right, right. They plan on their, they're planning on it. They're just not doing anything because I haven't met them yet because they're all fired up. A lot of people mm -hmm. don't... Ooh, don't mm -hmm. A lot of people don't like this. Uh, yeah. A lot of people don't like you. Yeah. Uh, over there. Understood. The bad guys over there, the drug addicts, so that makes sense. In my, my all the guys that work at recycling... I was just talking about recycling today, right? Mm -hmm. So, there's this dude that like drives like a red car as you're like he's like short brown short hair and he's kind of like in his 30s or uh -huh. and uh he works there now he was telling me how like jay drake he's robbed the place he used to work over there he's and, black, uh, black beard. yesterday when i when terrence asked me for a fucking cigarette and then asked mark for a cigarette and then he, he was just saying, he literally said with his mouth, yeah, I've been up all in, I've been all through that before, I've been all through that. Basically admitting that he's been all through the property, he basically knows, I purposely wanted to see who knows who, and Terrence knows the whole property, which means that means he's been on this property, means he's, you know. To know, to know all the way through means he's had to have been on it. Who said and that? there's no way he would have been on it without, with your permission. Well, so the, so, the, yeah, so Terrence, so Mr. Terrence basically oh. it, it just admitted that he's been on the property against permission, which is basically burglarizing. He's basically admitted that he's took and shit. Dude, he was stealing shit all the way back to 2015 with some of the original people that have now been killed. Um, TJ from my church. Gone. I would eat him on fentanyl because he was going to testify, so be careful. That's kind of why when Steven starts going through shit, I'm going, um... Because I've had friends get killed, literally. 2016. What, what, what are you supposing? I think they're trying to fucking get him on shit so that when he bears his testimony, they can, he can, they can go, ah, all you've got is a, a, a methed out little kid who's telling you shit. And with you, get that guy. You put this in the icing. Um... That puts the seal on it. But yeah, we have Noriega planning to kill me. You have Tamra talking to this person with Joshua Nunn repetitively over time. And uh, yeah, there's no reason those two should have been meeting me yet. Unless, well, I have the records that show my ex was uh, found to be positive for mother's a lot of morphine. So what was happening there? drug sales, and people drug sales, and trades for information and other shit, also probably hit. So what needs to happen, bro, is you're giving me uh, the capability of finally a restraining order directly on Joshua. I had never considered that one before. Hard, not really. But, uh, dude, if you live at Tam, dude, 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 you give me my kids back. You saying you lived at Tamara's house, a place where... No, 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 no. Tamara lived with me at my condo when I was working at Prime America, making a lot of money. Oh. And that's why she lived there, because she was a money, which was always asking me for money. And uh, she didn't, she never did anything with me. She just always was... It was really... No, nah, I don't like the I don't like the experience. Well, the fact we put her there, and then with Noriega, and we have Noriega trying to kill me, saying this is why we took... I know exactly who Tamara Bozart is. I called her Tamara. Yeah. I never said Tamara. I've always called her Tamara. Yeah. It was weird. Yeah. I know. I've always, when I swear, if she sees my face, I'm like, she always knows I've always called her Tamara. I never said Tamara. There's two ways to say it. I say Tamara. 
I'm going to be honest, and, and if you can't get her nobody else, I'm going to have to the guy across the street for letting his uh, relatives be over there. But... So what are the so court, what court? Oh, stuff okay. down there. You said Mark. What, what, who's Mark? Mark's that nice old guy in the car. Oh. The Hyundai. You didn't like me? No. Terrence. Oh, okay. Terrence admitted that he basically went onto your property without permission and stole stuff because if he knows... No, well, I caught him here a bunch. Yeah. yeah. That's good to know. No, he's but Terrence knows Chico. That's yeah. obvious. Terrence knows Nacho. Nacho knows Chico. Chico knows Nacho. Big... Uh, 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 Big G, Daryl, which is this dude with a, a left slow eye old man, 57 years old, camps out at the taco truck overhangs all? right next to buildings down from the Shell gas station over there off of Atkinson. There's this closed down taco truck shed. They live right there with a bunch of tweakers that know uh, who Roberto Noriega is because they is hang it? out with him because the river's right there that leads up to the stop and say they camp right there. That's their camp. They've been there less than two miles away. Yep, right over there. Over there. Back that way off of Atkinson gotcha. to the river. Okay. Roberto Noriega's camp. Well, okay. What else? Um, you've got the camera there. And then I, and I feel that, like, I might end up getting jumped because I don't know if word's gotten out that I'm actually on a mission instead of them thinking I'm just their friend. Well, um, if you know... Because there's been some real shady whispering going on, especially when I went to go turn my recycling and saw Keith outside talking to a very familiar girl I've always copped cigarettes off of. She's actually a homeless woman, but they were talking about me, mad shit. And like I, they just didn't like my sight. They waited till I walked around to the full front to continue talking. Keith knows you'll cost his sister, his and uh, Stephen's mom, their court 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 case because you've seen him and all of his friends doing that. You've oh yeah, him. and on some of the uh, some not old. I don't know if Tony had more than one of those ellipticals in that shed. I did. It has to be like honestly, if he had another elliptical. I, I Okay, well that elliptical is in the, sh the recycling center right now as we speak on the right side of the office where you're turning your tax. It's right there, packed away, and now that I remember, that shit's always been there. The whole time that I was working there, especially when there was a day in 20, uh, 2019 when I had an accident with one of the machines, I had to shovel up aluminum cans, I noticed that machine was there, and it's been there. And so I'm just saying there's numerous uh, pieces of uh, old property that used to belong to Fennel, but a lot of the bikes that have been either sold or thrown and gotten rid of. They fired me because I did not smoke uh, meth enough, uh, or anything. Okay. So, like, they, uh, they literally did not trust me. They know I'm not a dope smoker. They know I'm only a weed smoker. And they also know I kind of really don't I'm not really with them, so you know I'm not I'm not a tweaker, right. so they know they can't really trust them on their side. So they really replaced me with a bunch of tweakers. I mean, seriously, guys with no muscles. I mean, oh jeez. Okay, so that guy you were talking about that doesn't like me in the red is he younger, like 20s, black hair, black beard? His name's Josh Drake, I think, or something like that. Oh, no, it's not Drake, it's something similar, but he lived down here. He's got like a couple messed up teeth, but he's really, he's young, but like, he's kind of short. He's got not a beard beard, I guess it's a beard. Yeah, it's black. but it's brown. It's like brown black, kind of like nachos type of hair, a little bit, but nachos shorter. Nachos is black, okay. Yeah, but brown. Okay. He works, he's the dude that, the, the main dude. Well, the main fat guy, he don't like me either. The main fat dude. Mo? Yeah, yeah Momo. Momo is the one that knows about all this meth shit being smoked on. Well, he's the one who used to sell shit to my brother Aaron. He used to bring to my brother Aaron and had to say, oh, he sells his hand next to my brother. Yeah. There's a group anyway. Mario, there's a group of him with him there. Uh, Boel, uh, he was a cocaine dealer. You got Vernon from fucking Oakland. That's fucking everywhere, man. And then all the 
the prostitution shit. You hear about the kids around here, and your dad is like, what? Who the fuck do you really think you are, bro? You're nerdy. That's the guy's name. I didn't even know him as anything else. His name was nerdy. Mm. Uh, okay, so we can stop this. I'm rambling with this. It's a 10-minute video.